Hello, and welcome back to our SPSS Modeler series. During this session, I'll be covering a priori rules. Again, I'm Dr. Jeff Grover, Chief Research Scientist here at Grover Group Incorporated. All right, so like with the uh, cluster analysis, we replicated uh, a model that's already developed, and we use the uh, bakery uh, data in that uh, model, and we are using the same data in this model, and we are going to use the same protocol, so we're going to replicate this model that's already been generated. So we'll create a new stream, and then we'll bring in our Excel node, right click, bring in that bakery data, should have two items in the filter once it's loaded. Receipt ID and item. Types, receipt ID. Okay, we want that as the record ID. And the item, we want that as nominal. That's just a distribution of the data. And we want this as both. So that it could read both. And we'll read those values in. So we've read them in, we'll apply, and we'll preview the data. Should be two columns, receipt ID and item. All right, here we go. So receipt ID and item, blackberry tart, bottle of water. So we're gonna see if you sell two of these, what's the likelihood of selling a related item? Okay, just to recap, receipt ID is continuous, record ID is the roll, item is nominal, They're both as the roll, receipt ID continuous, record ID, item nominal, both. Okay, so we're good. Next is the receipt ID node or the a priori node, fields, uh, transactional format, contiguous, receipt ID and item, the models for, for its antecedent support, 70 minimum rule, confidence, and five number of antecedents, maximum. We'll apply that here, make sure. Okay, so we'll get our A priori node, fields, transactional, receipt ID, contiguous item, All right, model, and we said 470, and we'll keep the default 5, and it was an expert, I didn't show that on the other view. All right, so this should be good. So let's give it a whirl and see what our outcome is going to be. All right, just finish calculating. All right, so. Here we go. So let's look at a, a couple more variables, uh, instances. We'll look at rule support, lift. Okay, so let's kind of interpret this a little bit. So what is this telling us? So if a customer comes in and buys a apple tart and a apple danish, 
then there's a 70, there's a 97.56 chance that they will buy an apple croissant. So this is what the association rules does. It iterates down to these combinations of pairs and predicts what a third item, the likelihood of that or the probability of that being bought if those uh, initial two items are bought. I hope you uh, enjoy this video. Stay tuned for the next video in our series on SPSS Modeler. Thank you. Talk to you later.